Okay, you guys, I had to stop and make a quick YouTube for you guys, because you know what? I don't get to see very much. I hope you're out there still. You're still out there, right? You're still out there, right? <laughs> anyway, so here's the deal. This is a special clutch. It's not a special clutch genetically, because guess what? There's no dad. It's all the babies are females. I've already sexed a few of them. We couldn't figure out who the daddy was. There's supposed to be two dads. And they're probably the reason why there was two dads is because none of the dads were interested in the female. And sometimes that happens. So we put a couple males in there thinking that's the male. But in this case, the female was getting gravid on her own. And uh, so what we have, so this has no father. And so the way we know is because there was no extra genes in here except the mother's genes. And so the mother was het genetic stripe. She was head albino. So every time that the egg was carrying the genetic stripe gene, it would make a genetic stripe. When it was carrying the albino gene, it would double up and make albino. And if it was carrying both genes, it'd make an albino genetic stripe. Now, the reason why they're white phase is because there, you could get purples or whites, but you could never get lavenders on a parthenogenesis clutch because the genes are all coming from one side. And so because it, well, you could, if, you, you could never get a lavender because even a lavender will make uh, whites and purples on a, on a parthenogenesis. So this is a genetic stripe and a, uh, albino. And so it basically that is when both genes are present in the one egg, because what it actually happens is the, the egg starts splitting on its own without it having the extra chromosomes put in by the male. So what ends up happening, whatever was there in the beginning just gets doubled. So when it starts splitting, it's literally copying itself. So therefore it, the female is literally putting in double layers. And of course the male can't be present. There can't be a male in here because being putting, there is no male genes inside of a female snake. <laughs> so <laughs> that could be debated, <laughs> but not gonna be debated on a snake clutch. So anyway, so in these snakes is literally no father, only a mom. And uh, it'll be interesting to see them all out and see what the percentage is. So what do you guys think? Is that cool? Comment below if you think I'm absolutely insane or I have some kind of crazy ideas. So the way you can sex a snake, I'll show you this right here. So this is this is a male. So this is a normal clutch. This is a normal clutch here. I already sexed a whole bunch of these. So that's a male right there. So you can see that the male has two hemipenes is what they're called. Yes, not one, two. When you get a snake, you buy one, you get one free. And when it cut, but it's a male. <laughs> so this right here is a female. Now a female just has a couple little tiny, you still do the same thing. And if you don't know how to do this, don't do it. But there's a little tiny end right there. And that little end, there's one on each side. And that is a girl. And so those, that's how I know the sex of these already. It's because I've sexed a few of these. And there is no male. So I can't show you a male. I can only show you females. So bam, there you go, guys. So if you ever wonder, when somebody says that a snake has no mother, no only a mother and no father, it's real. Because this is the real deal right here. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, we are we had a bunch of people over today at the Reptile Zoo. Hope you can come down sometime. Make sure you share this and tell me what you really think about this Parthenogenesis thing. It's pretty darn crazy, right? So anyway, don't forget, also, we have a huge event on October 20th. I hope you guys make it out. And make sure that if you think that this Parthenogenesis thing's crazy, you get to share it, tag it, send it out, email it, send it to all your friends and tell everybody how nuts I am. Anyway, because I am living the dream, and you'll be living the dream too at the 20th if you show up. I got all kinds of cool people showing. I'm not going to announce them yet, but get ready. Coming soon.